welcome to another video so today we will be discussing about the topic that you've been asking me from a long time that is a list of instruments and the functions that these instruments do perform there were quite a few of you who requested this video and here i am with this one thank you so much guys for leaving down such beautiful comments and asking me for videos i really like those and definitely it motivates me so keep commenting and without much further ado let's get right into the video <music> So firstly, we will be discussing the instrument anemometer. So anemometer, anemo comes from the word, it gives the word meaning wind. So a device that through which the power and speed of wind is measured is called as anemometer. So measuring wind, speed and power. Next is altimeter. Altimeter is used to measure the altitude of an aircraft. Next is the avometer it is used to find a fault or a defect any detect to detect a fault or a defect in the radio next is the epidioscope you must have seen this in older movies it is a device that displays opaque materials by shining a bright lamp onto the object from above so this is the particular instrument that is used Next one is odometer. Odometer is used to calculate the distance traveled by the wheels of a vehicle and this is the odometer. Next one is a chrysograph. Chrysograph is basically used to detect and measure the growth in plants. So this is how a chrysograph looks like to detect and measure growth in the plant. Next one is the calorimeter. It is basically used to measure the amount of heat. Next up, we have the gyroscope. A gyroscope is used to obtain the speed and the orientation of a moving object. And this is how a gyroscope looks like. These are the different parts of the gyroscope. Next, we have the Coolidge tube. Basically, it is used as a modern x-ray tube so it is used for production of x-rays and this is how the tube looks like next is the chronometer now chronometer is employed in ships and aircrafts that is used to measure the accuracy of time and this is how a chronometer looks like next up dial dilatometer it is basically used to measure the change in the volume that occurs due to a physical or a chemical process. This is how a dilatometer looks like. Next is the fathometer. A fathometer is also called as a fish finder and it is used to measure the depth of seas and ocean. It does so by calculating the time required by sound waves to reach the bottom of the sea. Next one is called as facsimile. You're very well aware of this. The modern, the common name for facsimile, facsimile is basically the fax machine. Now it is actually the telephonic transmission of scanned or printed material from one place to another using a telephone number. So basically it is used to transmit scanned printed material to a telephone number that is connected to a printer. Next one is the Gagnog respirometer. This is basically used to calculate the respiratory coefficient. Next is the hydrophone used to calculate the sound of waves inside the water. The hygrometer, it is used to measure the humidity or the amount of vapor. The hydrometer, so the previous one was a hygrometer that was used to calculate vapor or humidity. Hydrometer is used to calculate the relative density of liquids and it is based on the principle of buoyancy. Next one is a heliometer. So a heliometer is used for measuring 
the variations of sun's diameter at different seasons of the year so initially when a heliometer was invented it was used for measuring the sun's diameter however now it is also used to measure the angular distance between two stars next is a kaleidoscope so a kaleidoscope is basically composed of three plane mirrors that are inclined to each other at an angle of 60 degrees you must have seen a kaleidoscope especially in those melas that you go it's a long tube that shows one once you peek in you look at different designs then you have the radiometer now a radiometer is an instrument that is used for detecting or measuring intensity of radiant energy next up the periscope now a periscope is basically containing two mirrors inclined at 45 degrees with the vertical which are facing each other the kaleidoscope had three plane mirrors and i was inclined at a 60 degree angle next one is a pyrometer so pyro means heat so basically it is used to measure the temperature of very high heated substances like the furnaces or glowing filaments next is a microtome a microtome is a device that is used to obtain very small pieces or thin sections of a particular organ or a tissue next is a polygraph you must have observed it in many detective series where they add electrodes in order to see or to detect whether the human being is saying the truth or lying next one is a quadrant a quadrant is basically a instrument used to measure the altitude and angles in the navigation and in astronomical sciences next is a seismograph it is used to measure the intensity of a earthquake tachometer used for the measurement of the rotation speed of a shaft or a disk as in a motor or any other machine so any machine's rotation the speed of the shaft or the disk can be measured by a tachometer next one is the van de graaff generator it is used to produce high potential difference the device used to measure potential differences the potentiometer then you have the venturi meter which is basically used for measuring the speed of flow of liquid so that's it for me for today and hopefully this video was helpful i'll see you in my next one bye